Hey fellow animators, I'm Miloš Černý and today's video is going to be just a quick one about what you should check on a 3D model before you start rigging and scanning process. Let's take a look. I am going to use this wonderful model of a mech called Hiroshima, gifted to me by the artist Rudy Baldi, which I am very grateful for. You can find more of his stuff on his website, I provided the link below the video as well. You will also be able to download this model on my website later, when I am done with rigging and skinning. So, when you are going to work on any model, meaning doing a rig for it, you should check several things first. What I like to do as a first thing, is to set the color of the mesh to black, so it is not that visually distracting. But that is just my personal preference and an optional step. You don't have to do it, I just like it this way. Next, make sure the root of the model is zeroed out, which it is, but also it is placed a bit too far for my taste. I would like to have it more in the center of the character, so let's move it a bit back. Go to the hierarchy panel, activate effect pivot only and move it back. Zero it out again after that. Now check its dimensions and if you are ok with the scale of the model, mainly the height. You can use tape helper object for that. But I usually just create a box and check the value there, because it doesn't have to be precise and it seems much faster to me doing it this way. If it is not the size you would like, you can scale it now. Later, after we start the rigging and scanning process, it is a bit harder to scale models. So now is the best time if you want to do it. You should also check the mesh before you start. Creating a model for animation is a collaboration of the modeler, rigger and animator as well. All of these people. Good modeler knows how to create models which are going to be animated, even if he cannot animate them himself. For example this model was done pretty good, clearly with animation in mind. You can see that the most problematic parts that are going to be deformed the most are done with this blue fiber texture, suggesting it is a soft surface, not a hard one like the rest of the green and black parts. Mesh flow is also important, but it is quite impossible to check every single polygon before starting. Usually you will find flaws, if there are any, during skinning. Because well, that's the part where you pay attention to every single vertex basically. But we can at least take a look at the main joints and think about where will we place them and how we want the mesh to deform. But as I said, this model is done pretty well and I don't have any main issues with it that I could see now. When you are done with all the modifications, head to the utilities panel and hit reset X form and reset select it. After that, Collapse modifier stack. What it does is making sure that all the parameters are zeroed out. If you would for example scale the model before, after resetting X form it would be on zeroed values again, meaning 100% in a case of scale. Ok, so after all this the model should be ready for rigging and skinning. If you forget something or if you don't do these steps, everything can be fixed later on as well. But with rig and skin done, it takes some additional steps to fix these things. So it's better to do everything before you start. So that's it. I would like to take some time to thank my first two Patreons, Ian Gregory and Kitatus. I know that maybe it doesn't seem much, but it means really a lot to me. It is a huge boost to motivation to keep making these videos, especially after the recent changes to YouTube requirements for monetization, which demotivated me quite a bit. But these pledges really helped, so thank you very much. I am Miloš Černý and thank you for watching.